sick all day with a fever, not feeling the greatest at all. And I took a four hour nap, four hours. I mean, is that considered a nap? I would consider it a nap. But I woke up and now it's like nine o'clock at night and I'm feeling kind of spunky. So I thought we could have a pajama party. You're probably not in your pajamas. Hopefully you are, but I'm in mine. I'm not even wearing a bra. I threw a sweatshirt on to not make this too awkward, but I thought we could just play with makeup in the middle of the night. You guys won't be seeing this at nighttime, but right now it's the middle of the night. I have some new products in from Octoly and I also got sent the most amazing, amazing package from Tracy. I went insane. A lot of the products that I'm going to be playing with today, I'm going to be scared to even touch. <laughs> it happens. It's just how I am. But I do want to play with some of it. So I'm going to start off with these Becca products that I recently got in from Octoly. The first one here is the First Light Priming Filter. I have the Backlight Priming Filter that's really radiant. This one's purple and it's pretty and I'm like, I want to touch you. So I have this and then I have their Under Eye Brightening Corrector, which I've heard great, great things about. So I'm going to start off just priming and correcting, I guess. Ooh, it is very purple. <gasps> Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let's put this on my face. I think I put way too much on. Mmm, that smells good. What is that smell? Is it lavender? Maybe I just think it's lavender because it was purple. Oh, this is nice. It gives you a very fresh, fresh kind of like look to your skin. It's not super like shimmery and illuminating like the backlight filter. But, oh. All right, now I'm going to use this under eye corrector. I have used this once before and was pleasantly surprised. You would think that it'd be a firm product, but it's actually not. It's very soft and movable, almost like a lip balm. And it's pretty nice. So I'm just going to throw this underneath here. It's got kind of that pinkish peachy look to it. So if you have dark circles, like your girl, <laughs> it works great. I like to go up into my eye corner with it too because I have some really deep darkness under there. It almost looks like I got punched in the face on the daily. Probably should. I've been quite the wench lately. I mean, you can totally see the difference. This, this is incredible. This is my new best friend. It's got a very tacky, sticky base to it as well, which I like because then you can stick other liquid products on top of it and they are going to adhere very nicely. And they do. So this probably might be one of my favorite products from Becca. But I don't know because this, this primer that I'm trying right now, I'm really liking it. I'm going to mash two foundations together. The Makeup Forever HD Foundation or Ultra HD and then the Becca Ultimate Coverage. I want to mash these together and just see how they come out because these are two of my foundations that I have not mixed yet and I want to see how that will go because I love that ultimate coverage but it can be a little bit cakey and this is a very kind of light coverage liquidy medium build up I guess um foundation so I want to see how they will mix together I don't know if this is going to be too light on me I don't know good thing it's the middle of the night sorry if you hear my baby crying my husband is trying to help him out right now. He just got a lot of shots and the poor fella is just not dealing with shots very well. He's very sensitive to teething, to anything. So he's he's just a miserable little guy right now. We're trying so hard to make him happy. And look, my bald spots are actually growing in. So that postpartum hair loss is starting to slow down. Okay, this foundation mixture may be my new best friend. I am loving this. Oh, and I like that you can still see the dewiness of the primer through the foundations. Oh, of course. Doesn't your makeup always just look flawless when you're not going anywhere? Yeah. Now I do want to go in with this amazing concealer in Illuminate. Um, I tried this out once, totally forgot I even had it, so I really want to give it another go. You don't need very much of this because it's very thick. It reminds me of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Like, it's Bye Bye Under Eye because it's so thick that you can't find your under eye under it. It's like, what under eye? Huh. 
I ate it. That under eye corrector is amazing. I don't even use very many correctors, even though I probably do good with them. I definitely need them. I don't really use them too often, but this corrector is everything right now. I mean, it's so hydrating and illuminating, and it really, really works on correcting the darkness under my eyes. Like, damn. Now I just need a vacuum concealer to suck up those bags. I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun. This is my powder. This is my friend. This is what I've been using. Just take a little bit of it and put it underneath here to set this because the concealer and the corrector are very like sticky tacky so I want to set this as quick as possible and then I'm just gonna take my favorite powder brush this is from it cosmetics the heavenly Lux wand ball number eight the best powder brush ever it's just so good because it's so big and fluffy it holds a lot of powder I'm just gonna set the rest of my face and the double chin I feel like the camera is dark probably because it's past nine o'clock but I'm going to do my brows because that's just necessary. I have been using this Benefit Cabrow. I've actually been really liking it. You know, I reviewed it and it's not something that I would recommend getting because there's so many drugstore brow pomades that are just the same. But it doesn't mean that it's not a great product. So I've been using it because I spent my money on it. <laughs> so I want to use it. But I'm going to use the Beauty Junkies, yes, brow brush. And this is a double-ended brow brush. Amazing like 10 bucks on Amazon I love their brushes I have them on my Amazon influencer store which you guys can always check out it's always down in the description box I love that store and I'm always adding new things to it that I find that are amazing on Amazon I have to go in kind of light with this though because it's a shade too dark which I can work with I'm always talking shit to my eyebrows lately when I'm doing them. I'm just like, come on, bitch, don't do this to me. We got this. Come on. Don't do this. I'm going to use the Pixie Brow Tamer. I really, really like this. I think it's great. And I'm just going to use that to set all of this down because my eyebrows are being toddlers and having tantrums lately, and they stick up everywhere. I've been wearing my Adore Me pajamas constantly. I want to get more so bad so so bad so I hope they have a sale or they ask me to work with them again because holy cow I just they're like the best pajamas ever you guys they are so comfortable and so sexy and just airy and I'm living for it we're gonna have more pajama parties okay because I never learn I'm gonna go in with my eyes second I always do it this way I should probably learn better but I don't Urban Decay Primer Potion on the lids all right so one of these products that Tracy sent me was from Bobbi Brown Look at that. It's Of course it's dirty. Of course. I can never have anything nice. I tried. But this is... Oh, look at this. I can't get over this. This is their Caviar and Ruby's Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, oh. oh, you guys can't see it. Look at that. Ah! I want to use this. I want to use this. I'm going to attempt to use that. But it doesn't have a shade that can set my eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to go in with the Tarte Clay Play Palette, volume number one. And just use, oh, not that shade. This shade <laughs> to set my primer. And that is Solstice, which is a very, very good shade for setting primers. It's so creamy. Tarte done fucked up, haven't they? Mm-hmm. I know. I'm sorry for anyone who doesn't like it when I swear. But they did. Let's just get real. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about how their new Shape Tape Foundation... Ow, I just stuck that in my eye. Their new Shape Tape Foundation has two colors for women of color. And they are... Ugh, I don't even know what to say about it. I'm so freaking irritated. I refuse to review it. Um, I wouldn't have bought it anyway, most likely because with shipping, it was like 45 bucks. Not happening. But that's ridiculous. Like, what a slap in the face. What a slap in the face. Like, no. No one, no one should be reviewing that or buying that. We gotta stick together if we want change. Alright, now this is something that makes me want to throw up a little bit in a good way. But Tracy also sent me two Wayne Goss brush sets. Wayne Goss. <sighs> she sent me a face set and an eye set and 
I'm already getting indigestion. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to use these. I don't want to. I don't want to use these. I want to put them in like a frame of some kind and just stare at them and never use them. That's that's how I feel about it. But I got this. Oh, they're so soft. Holy crap. If you guys watched my Snapchat, you saw me freak out about it. I mean, who wouldn't? But I'm going to go in with the Wingoss number 16 brush. And I'm going to go into this lighter brown here. And I'm just kind of going to sweep that into the crease and get started. I'm so scared touching it with the wing up brush. No, God. Okay, and I'm going to just kind of go into, oh, it's so soft. I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. Holy cow. Do you guys think that Wayne Goss would marry me? Do you think he's into polygamy? <laughs> This brush is seriously amazing. It's so soft and I can feel it because of the tip of it. I can feel it like going right into my crease and then just blending. Like you can swirl it like butter. I never thought in my life I would ever experience what a Wayne Goss brush felt like because I couldn't even look at them when they were on clearance. I don't know if they've ever been on clearance, but if they were, I couldn't even look at them still. Um, so I'm just so forever grateful to Tracy. She told me she was sending me a mascara. Mascara. Now I want to take this Delium Tools 781 brush and I want to go into this. It's kind of like a deep burgundy color. I don't know how it's going to look on the eye. I'm a little afraid of it to be honest, but I want to like set it down at the end here. Just to see how this works. Because it, it seems like it's very dry. But super pigmented. That's just gorgeous. My goodness. I'm going to take the Wayne Goss number 18 brush. And just blend this at the top a little bit. This actually is not dry. Or as dry as I thought it was. It reminded me when I swatched it of some Tarte shadows that can be really, really dry. Kind of reminded me of that formula. But when Tarte has those kinds of formula, they tend to be patchy. And this does not seem to be patchy at all. And it blends. It keeps blending. It doesn't just sit there and not blend. Now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever 226 brush and the Tarte Shape Tape, which... They're lucky that I absolutely need this concealer or I wouldn't even use it. But it is the best concealer for this. I'm so mad at them. I'm just so disappointed. But I'm just going to extend my lid as I always do. I'm a lid extender snob. That's what's happened. Because it just looks so good. And it's just, it's really easy to do once you get it down. I know it can be very intimidating. But once you get it, it's good. Now I'm going to go into this middle color, which is kind of a duochrome. When you move it, it changes colors. I don't know if that will transfer to the lid, but it's more of a light pink. So I want to go in with that and set that down. On the concealer. These shadows are just so lux mm, luxury to me using them is scaring me so bad that I'm getting indigestion I've heard some Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palettes are not good but this seems to be working amazingly alright now I'm going to go back into that kind of burgundy color there and just build it up a little bit more these are so pretty and I love the name Caviar and rubies, like, come on. Personally, caviar is never touching these lips, but rubies? I could get into it. I love these shadows. I love them. I love them. Now, I want to take the middle color. I've noticed that a lot of, like, luxury palettes have this middle color that is just kind of a glossy, clear, like, sh glitter shimmer top coat. And I want to take that with my finger because that's just what's best. And they all look really weird just like a glossiness and I want to put that on my eyelid oh <gasps> can you guys see that holy cannoli I'm not flipping you off I promise can you see that 
I don't think you can see that. <gasps> oh, I feel like a princess. No. It's so glimmery and shimmery and glittery and I feel so pretty. Now, I don't really feel like any of that has a brow bone highlight in it. So I'm going to go in to that pure palette that we got in BoxyCharm. And I'm going to use the middle there as a highlight for the brow bone. We're going to use it on my face too. I have used this once already. It's pretty good. Pretty good as in holy crap. Now I want to try this Trish McAvoy Lash Enhancing Liquid Liner. It's a felt tip. I've never tried um, Trish McAvoy. This is another thing that Tracy sent me. A whole kit of hers with like all of her makeup or most of it. Oh. Dropping brushes. But it wasn't the Wayne brushes. Whew. But I do want to try out some of her stuff little by little. So it's kind of a thicker felt tip. So I'm a little scared. But let's try this out and see. Well, so far, it's so good. It's a little harder to work with for me because it's so much thicker and I have very small eyes. But, not too bad. I did kind of a small wing at the end. I wish it was a little bit blacker. But you can build it up, so it's not too bad. Now, the problem I did have with this is the tails, the cat eyes because I went too thick with this one and not thick enough with this one and I know if I keep trying to fix it it's going to go nuts so I do like this it's not as black as I want it to be which is fine because I have those days but I wish it was a little bit thinner now I'm going to pop some lashes on I will have these lashes down below I forget the name of them now they're from Eyler though they are a collaboration with a youtuber I forgot her name but I'm just going to pop these on and we'll be right back now, while I'm waiting for those to dry, I want to go in and do my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in. I got a few liners from Lancome um, from Octoly, and they're their Drama Liqua Pencils, and they are so good. They have, like, ones that have a little bit of glitter in them, and then they have just normal colored ones. This one here is in, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to pronounce that one. <sighs> Bords de Scene? Bords de Scene? It's more of a charcoal gray. And I want to put this in the waterline. I've been wearing these for about a week now. And I've, worn, I've used three or four of them out of the six, I believe, that I got. They stay so good in the waterline. So I'm just going to pop this in the lower waterline. They're so dark. So dark and so good. They remind me of the Essence um, liner that I like, but they discontinued. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back into that Bobbi Brown palette. Into this color right here. And then this color on the side. The two side colors. And swipe them underneath the eyeliner you know what I think I'm going to use this Wayne Goss 20 brush for this <sighs> oh. why do they feel like silk it feels like I'm just swiping warm melted butter underneath my eye that could be a look all right now the infamous Trish McAvoy um <laughs> mascara that was this is what was supposed to be sent only from, <laughs> from Tracy. But I am going to use this. Now she said that it doesn't like go nuts. It doesn't make your mascara go nuts. Your eyelashes go nuts. But it's really cool because it actually creates tubes on your eyelashes. So when you take them off, they come off in little tubes. So it seems like a drier formula. Just a normal type of wand. So I want to use this and just see how it is. I don't know if maybe I got a bad tube. But there's like... I'm rubbing, 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 and there's barely anything coming off. It's not, it's not working at all. I couldn't even get it to show up on my lower lash line. So Tracy will have to tell me if this, if this is how it's supposed to be or if it just dried out and it's a bad batch or not. But so far, no. I'm going to instead go in with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir because this is my lover and just mesh these eyelashes. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Face Clay Palette and the Wayne Goss number 11 brush. And I'm going to just kind of bronze my face a little bit. This is so painful, but it picks up so much product. A little rabbit foot. Oh, so much product. Okay, so much for bronzing a little bit. Oh, but man, does it blend that out. Whoo. Oh, where have I been with these brushes? Holy moly. Alright, now for blush, I'm going to go in with the Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless palette. 
which we also got in a boxy charm. A lot of people said that this was crap. Um, I'm going to use it with the Wayne Goss 12 brush. Oh, what am I going to use? I think I'm going to go in with Unstoppable here and just see. Some people said this is buildable, though, and it wasn't bad, so we shall see. I mean, it seems to be building up nicely. A lot of people said it had no color to it. <gasps> you guys lied. Oh, this is beautiful. All I gotta say is if you don't have Wayne Goss brushes, put them on your wish list. Make it a goal. Make it a goal, you guys. Sell your children. Just kidding. <laughs> now I want to take that Pure palette again and go back in with that highlighter. And I'm going to use the Wayne Goss number 15 fan brush. I actually want to try this. It seems pretty dense. Oh. I've never used a fan brush that worked like this. Holy cow. Whoa. This highlight is crazy. That tickles. I just can't get over it. Holy cow. Now before I do my lips, I'm actually going to go in with my setting spray, the Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this so much. Obviously, you just bathe in it. And then Tracy also sent me um, this limited edition Laura Mercier lipstick set that comes with five different lip glosses and then their lipstick match in a like velvet or something like that. What is it called? A velour and then just a normal like luster lipstick. So, I mean, she's insane. She's insane. So I want to go in with the velour one and this one is in Sophia. It's all by like leading Hollywood actresses. So... I'm going to use this. I never used Laura Mercier. And this is gorgeous. Holy cow. And there we go. This is the finished pajama party look. I love this. I love this. The only thing that I didn't really care for was that Trish McAvoy mascara. I just, I don't know if it dried out or what, so I'm going to have to ask Tracy. But, oh. I love how this came out. I'm so excited. I have so many other new things to just use and share with you guys. So there are going to be a lot more get ready with me's coming up. Let me know if you want them all to be pajama parties because we can do it. I will leave everything that I used listed down below if you guys want to check it out. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more pajama parties, let a girl know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.